awful, awful, awful. 14 days of work to finish a snake oil in a bottle. Man, that's thin. Um, it does have some metal in it. I, uh, I didn't go by that guy. I just, it's not a great movie, but I went anyways. Y'all will never believe this. But you know there is no clutch? I don't know. No more leaks. No more leaks. Uh, it doesn't want to go in first. Still. I think we'll be fine. It was terrible. Uh, or it was just letting air in a little at a time. Hope that holds. Hey, welcome back. Last video we left, I showed you the garage. It was awful, awful, awful. Uh, let me show you what it looks like now. Much, much better. Uh, you can actually see the car in there. But uh, yeah, let's go take a look at it. So the car fits nicely, uh, side to side, of course, two car garage there's plenty of room it's a little short uh front to back so jacking it up in here if we had to be under the whole car is going to be a pain but doable um but most mostly where we're at right now is i've got this place to where you can kind of get around in here and it's not completely full so we get to work we've got 14 days of work to finish um this car before power tour uh we're leaving that sunday before power tour so technically it's 16 days i think till to, until power tour starts but really we got 15 until we got to be or 14 days to work the 15th day we'll be on the road so i have been driving it some um i needed to know what was wrong with it so we could fix what was wrong with it because if you don't know you don't know uh but right as of right now the biggest things i can see are is terrible to get in gear this so uh this is actually a cd001 was i was told it was out of 0405 uh, or 0506 probably a, this is probably 0304 transmission um those transmissions are known to be kind of clunky so we don't have time to pull it back out and Look, the sink rails. We ain't got time for that. But what we're gonna do is drop one quart of oil out of it and put a quart of Lucas um, oil stabilizer or whatever they call it in there. You know, snake oil in a bottle. Uh, but we'll see if I, that might help it. Um, even as it is, I could probably make the trip. It just wouldn't be as fun. Um, also, I'm gonna try to bleed the clutch again while I'm under there. And then I'm going to drive it a little bit more and we'll get it hot and see if we get reverse. Because currently we do not have reverse, which is one of the issues with the CD001. If you don't use thick enough gear oil, they say it, you won't have reverse. So we're going to try this, see what it does. If not, I'll order the other gear oil and it'll be here in a couple of days. But first, I'm going to have to push it outside a little bit so I can get it jacked up and uh, see if we can get the gear oil out of it. It's going to reach in here and release the emergency brake make sure it's in neutral come on now yeah she's in neutral get her pushed back some hmm. probably right there she's just fine full emergency brake back up we're ready to rock about right there is the drain plug um, my pan has a one quart two quart three quart four quart marking on it so I should be able to get a quart out no big deal just watch that so I'm gonna set y'all up and let's see if we can get a quart out of it and see how it goes Probably should have brought a paper towel or a rag of some sort down here, huh? Yeah, that'd have been a good idea.
Man, that's thin. We'll see if I can get some uh, rags and some help. I'm going to bleed this clutch right quick. So we got the clutch bled again. We got a quarter of oil out of that thing. Um, it does have some metal in it, uh, which I'm not surprised about after driving this transmission. That's the thing of Lucas. Um, I'm just going to take the whole shifter plate and all off, dump this Lucas in it, put it back in. We'll take this thing, see if it'll uh, drive, see how it goes. I think it'll be fine. Hopefully we get uh, get it all heated up and kind of blended together and maybe we'll end up with a reverse out of this. Maybe not. We're just going to see how it goes. Definitely thicker than what's in there. If anybody is wondering if you can actually use this in a transmission, it gives instructions on the back as to how much uh, Lucas to put in your manual transmission to help it uh, last longer and stuff. So uh, I didn't go by that guide, I just bought us some or I'll stick it in here. So the next thing we're going to do before we take it out uh, is actually fix the brake light switch. Sometimes it slides back and when it does, it doesn't make contact with the little pad on the brake pedal and the brake lights just stay on all the time. Um, I noticed this when I took my daughter to the movies, went to the movies uh, a couple days ago uh, to see the new Fast and the Furious movie. If you're into Fast and the Furious, go see it. If not, I mean, it's not a great movie, but I went anyways. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to see if I can't wrestle it out of there and we'll see what we can do to fix it. If we got to put a nut on it. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We'll figure it out when we get there though. Uh, but we need to fix that before we take a test drive because I don't want the brake lights just coming on and then not going off and then people, you know, hitting me because that'd suck. So let me get down here and pull it out. I'm not going to show you because you can't see in there. All right. So let me show you kind of what I've uh, cobbled or had cobbled together on this before. So. This is the third gen Camaro brake light switch, which mine works just fine. Um, this is the holder for the fourth gen switch, which I think is the right size, but it's broke. And I had this kind of crammed in there, just trying to make it do. This is the holder for the third gen. So this is uh, too small to fit in where this goes because this is so much wider because of how it's uh, made, where it snaps in on the side. So this guy just goes in there, slips around, doesn't work. This is part of the switch for the um, cruise control. And we've got, I've got to put it back together for the third gen. And But it needs one of these two. So I'm actually going to go buy a brake light switch for uh, a fourth gen and a um, cruise control switch part whatever this thing's called for a fourth gen as well just so i can get those collars off of them they're not very expensive but we need something to hold that and i gotta figure out if this thing had a plunger in it or what the deal was with that i'll see if i can actually if i can buy one of these that's what i'll do but uh, if not i'm gonna have to rebuild that one so we'll see what happens i'll let you know Y'all will never believe this. I actually found all the parts of this. Let me show them to you. 
So I was missing this plunger. I had this piece and this piece was attached in the car. I put it all together and let me see if I can get it where I can show you here. Focus. There we go. See how it's open? That would be the uh, brake pedal up and you close it. Brake pedal down. That's That breaks the uh, cruise control signal. Not that we have that hooked up yet, but it sure would be nice to have it for the trip, wouldn't it? Nonetheless, this needs to go in there. Other things I found. A random bushing that I needed. I found two of them, but they're different sizes. So, uh, or they're the same. they need to be different sizes. They're the same. So, I'm still going to have to pick up a brake light switch to get this, I don't know, bracket collar thing. I don't know what you call it, but uh, still, that's like six bucks compared to... 26 bucks so no big deal we got that one fixed i'm gonna put it together and see if i can actually get it in the car and then i'm gonna go get the brake light switch and see if we can get that wired up went to AutoZone, got one let me see if it'll fit i'm just assuming this will so let's take a look pull her out of the box i should have took this with me i could have seen if it would actually screw on there or not but they look like they're going to be the same Come on. It's hard to do with one hand. Yeah, I think we'll be just fine. Yes. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Now we got something to put all this together with that ain't all broken. Whatever, so. I'm going to slide under the dash and slide this in and get it hooked up. Um, I actually had to pull the uh, cruise control switch back out and put a little um, two-part adhesive on it. It kept wanting to come apart. So, fix that. Uh, these things, I can't even find one to buy. So, I had, thank goodness I found that plunger. It was just in, by the way. Yeah, it was in that bucket of bolts. Uh, Pays off to be a hoarder occasionally, I guess. So, let me see if I can't get these in and uh, maybe we'll go for a test drive right quick. Well, things have escalated. So, this fits on there just fine, but it slides right off. The threads on this are just a little booger. I just went out and bought some nuts. They're a quarter 20 fine thread. I'm just going to bolt this thing in there for good and be done with it. I'm tired of using this plastic. So, uh, I'm just going to get in there and see if I can make that happen. I'm gonna go in and hit the brake light. Let's see if it works. Should. Well, I'm gonna call it a night. It's starting to get dark out. We need to drive this thing for a little ways, and I'll, for recording purposes, we'll do it in the daylight. Also, you should always test your cars in the daylight if you can. But I'm going to call it a night, and for you, it'll just be a second. For me, I'm going to go inside and have a nice evening. It's the next day. It's um, 50-something degrees outside, so I have the T-tops in. Um, I thought we'd uh, open the garage door and see if we get this thing fired up. Just see if reverse works. Just maybe, but I have a feeling we're going to need to get the transmission hot so all that fluid gets together and, and you know, becomes one fluid and not separated like it currently is. Uh, but we'll go out for a ride and see how this thing shifts. It always shifts really okay-ish, you know, when it's cold. So hopefully um, as it warms up, it just doesn't get worse. But I'm going to go for a ride and we'll see how it does. And uh, we'll talk about it when we're done. Push her out, and uh, 
I'll pick y'all back up once we get outside. Well, I got her outside. Um, evidently, we basically have no clutch. So, because I figured out how to get it back in. Uh, bled that, we had a clutch, and now we bled the clutch, and now there is no clutch? I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm going to, uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Guess I'll have to start it in gear. We'll see how that goes. She's in gear. Clutch is all the way in. But the car's already rolling forward. See that? Because it's in gear. Yeah, we're gaining speed and everything. All that's just in gear. So, we'll have to bleed this clutch again. That'll have to be later, though. Okay, so it's still Memorial Day. Technically, I shouldn't be doing this because it's my wife's birthday, but my buddy Josie is uh, here, and he's going to help me bleed this clutch. Um, also, he's going to be going on power tour with me, so oh, you're yeah. going to see a bunch of this guy. Uh, we're just going to bleed it, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes, but hopefully, surely we can get this done, right? Sure. Yeah. So I got under there, went to bleed it. I have a remote bleeder. I don't know if y'all be able to see this, but it was dripping. So, yeah, focus. Anyways, it's got a scar on the inside of the mating surface. I don't know why this thing won't focus. There we go. Can you see it right there? It's dripping. So, went and got another one at AutoZone at 8.40 at night. They loved us. So, we got it installed. Uh, actually, it's bled. No more leaks. No more leaks. He, he's told us that we're going to have reverse tomorrow when I test drive it. And it's not going to be my foot. That's right. That's right. He done, He's already pushed me out of one or two by, uh, parking places. So we got her on the ground. I'll hit it tomorrow. We'll take it for a test drive in the morning. Uh, but yeah. Thanks, Josie. You're welcome. Well, it's the next morning. Um, I'm going to push this thing out because I'm sure reverse still doesn't work because we've not got this uh, fluid mixed up and hot together. Uh, so I'm going to push it outside and let's see if we can get the clutch to work. If it does, let's go for a ride. Well, I got her pushed out in the street, uh, and clutch seems fine. So I'm going to take this thing and drive it some, and we'll just see how it does. I think it's going to be fine. We'll, we'll see. better um seems and maybe it'll get better as we go too this is also possible i made a lot of uh shifts between uh third fourth and fifth and those really started getting good but the first to second uh it doesn't want to go in first still. if you go from third to second while you're slowing down it'll go into first pretty good so we'll just have to learn how to drive it all it has to do is last us two thousand miles right no big deal I forgot we didn't test reverse, so 
Let's give that a go and see what happens. Nope, still no reverse. Still wants to go forward in reverse. Yeah, it wants to go forward. Weird. Oh well. We'll, uh, we'll do this trip without reverse if we have to. So I'm just sitting here waiting. I was letting the car cool down. Just trying to think of what I want to do next. Um, I think I'm going to go back to AutoZone and buy two things of uh, Lucas. Dump two quarts of uh, whatever's in there now because it's got a little Lucas in it. But dump both of those two quarts out. And then load it up with two quarts of Lucas. Take it for a drive and see how it does. Um, and that'll be it. That'll be probably as good as we're going to get no matter what for the trip. So, uh, might it be tough to get it in gear? Maybe. Do I think we'll have the gears for the whole time? Sure. I think we'll be fine. I let the car cool down. I went out and got us some more Lucas. Uh, I'm just going to drain this and dump this in right quick, and we'll take it for a ride to see what it does. Uh, no matter what, we need to do some more driving. It's kind of cutting out a little bit. It's, it's a little choppy uh, on this last ride. Started that... Uh, the right, last time before last when I had it out when I was bringing it home. So, um, what we'll figure out what that is is just not running well. So, um, I don't know why. We'll figure that out as we go too. Well, I got her out the street. I'm gonna take her for a quick ride. I'm not even gonna record it unless something happens. Just uh, trying to get some heat in it, and then we'll see how it does. All right. Well, I got back from the test drive. It was terrible. Uh, thing does not want to go in gear now for anything so I made a big circle around where I live and brought it back home um, and basically what I think might be wrong with it is I think the uh, clutch master cylinders going out or was never any good to begin with and pressure seeping by it um, I did buy the cheapest one you could buy on Amazon so you know here I am paying that price now I'm gonna have to pull this one out and then, which, by the way, not easy to do because there's absolutely no room in there. But I'm going to have to pull it out. I ordered one from AutoZone. It'll be here first thing in the morning. Um, and then hopefully I can get Josie or somebody to help me bleed this clutch tomorrow. Um, I don't think Madison's out there riding her bike right now, but that might be who it is. We'll find somebody. But I'm hoping with that we can get this thing kind of dialed in for good. Um, I have chased my tail so much on this transmission and if it if that fixes this more or less that'll be crazy uh i did re try reverse when it came in hot it still doesn't work we're just not going to have reverse that's i've been pushing it out of here by myself uh josie will be with me plus other people and we'll just try to park either on a hill or a pull through or whatever um to figure it out whenever we get out on the road we'll, we'll be fine uh, this isn't a forever thing. Eventually, I'm just going to have to pull this transmission out and do something about it. But, pretty sure we need to do a master cylinder, like I said. So, it'll be on its way. We'll get it done. Um, yeah, I did just calibrate the uh, speedometer. That seems to be working now. So, uh, if you're curious how I did that, it's just in the setup menu. I just didn't do it before. So, that seems to be good. I may uh, I may go ahead and tear this apart tonight. It's, you know, 5 o'clock or whatever. So I've got plenty of time. I may go ahead and just pull it apart, but the car's hot, so I'm going to need to let it cool off. And then tomorrow morning we'll be ready to go back together first thing. So we'll see how it goes. I actually did a little more bleeding on this clutch uh, master cylinder. Um, I had forgotten I'd done it before. Used the uh, vacuum pump I've got and actually pull the air from the top up. Um, I got quite a bit of air out of there. It doesn't mean the master cylinder's good. But it may have just been enough air like in the line and then it, you know, come together as I was driving it, using it over and over. So um, I think I'm going to take it for another test drive. It does feel better. So maybe we dodge a bullet and don't have to do, you know, four hours worth of climbing underneath this dash. That'd be awesome. And then having to re-bleed it all again. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So uh, I'm going to take it out for a cruise. We'll see what it does. If it's good, great. If it's not, we'll go from there. Well, I got good news and bad news. Good news is speedometer works now. Uh, so we got odometers working, all that. Also, I recalibrated the fuel um, sending unit in this car. So fuel gauge is working now. So I think all the gauges are working. That's, that's a big plus. Um, unfortunately, 
no bueno on the clutch. It did work at first, but the more I pushed it in, the less it would do. And then towards the end, it didn't want to go into any gear. So we'll just uh, we'll leave it be and see how it goes. And uh, we'll change, try to change that clutch master cylinder tomorrow and bleed it again and try that. It's the next day. Um, got a new master cylinder, clutch master cylinder in. Uh, I perused the uh, instructions a little bit. It gives different ways to bleed it. And one of the ways it says that you can actually take a uh, syringe and push fluid in from the bottom up. Uh, we may try that on this one for the initial um, like fill or whatever and then bleed it from there. I think that'd be a really good way to try to push the air pockets out to the top. I don't know if it'll work. It's it, but that's one of the reasons, or one of the reasons, <laughs> one of the uh, ways they recommend trying to bleed it. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm not going to record me putting this in. I'll be under the dash and under here, and you won't be able to see me anyways. So uh, I'm just going to get to it and get it done. And we'll see if we can find somebody to help me bleed it. Whew. Sweating like crazy. It's hot, hot, hot in here today. Um, I have a fan going, but it's still hot. So uh, I got it all together and it's in there. I'm going to call, see if I can get Josie to come over, or maybe Mad uh, Madison or somebody to help me bleed this thing uh, and see if we can get it bled. I'd really like to have Josie here. He knows how a clutch is supposed to feel and is strong enough to push it down. So uh, I'm going to call him, see if he's available. Uh, but he might not be. We'll see. So I'll sit down, take a break, text Josie. Uh, he said he'd be here. Yeah, I think he's eating supper. And we'll, I'm going to go ahead and jack the car up and just have it ready to bleed when he gets here. Hopefully, hopefully this works out. Um, if it's a slave cylinder, the transmission has to come out. Uh, but I, I think it wasn't getting, I don't think it was getting enough fluid to move that slave cylinder. And I'm hoping that's where it was leaking from. Uh, or it was just letting air in a little at a time past the seals. Like I said before, I bought the cheapest one off of Amazon when I was putting this car together because I was almost out of money. Uh, today I paid another 80 bucks for one. So now I have, you know, $120 and an $80 part. But nonetheless, it's in there. Um, wasn't terrible. You couldn't see anything I did, but it wasn't terrible to get in there. So whatever, I'll live with it. Let me get this car jacked up. We'll wait on Josie and uh, when he gets here, We'll see if we can't get this thing bled. So uh, Josie swung by. We jacked the car up. We've bled the clutch. Feels great. Hope that holds. Uh, we're going to set it down. Um, my wife's actually been gone today. When she gets back, I'll take it for a test drive. We'll see how it does. We'll go from there. Well, Josie's convinced that reverse is going to magically work. So uh, let's see what happens. If not, maybe he'll push me out. He likes me. Well, it's in reverse. <laughs> no bueno. You don't push it back, and it's a double pump clock. They didn't put it in. Here's Kahala. I mean, it goes in just fine. <laughs> oh, well. He's a workhorse, I'm telling you people. I might be able to make that. Do what? All right, let's see if I can get it geared. Went first. at least as good as it was.
it feels like it's shifting good. That's better than yesterday. As y'all saw yesterday, I took this thing for a test drive, went around the block. It seems just fine. I haven't driven it since then, but we're just going with it's fine. Um, I'm going to need to do some real test driving with it, and I have a plan for that, and I'm going to share it with you in just a minute. But today is Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Friday, I'm supposed to be in Pontiacs and Pigeon Forge, big Pontiac show. Uh, my buddy Lee, that uh, has been on the channel many times, he's got a vendor spot. Actually, I think he has two or three vendor spots up there, and he's going to let me bring some uh, Trans Am parts that I have with me, or that I have up there with me, and try to sell them. We, we could really use the money. Uh, we have a big trip coming up. You know, always nice to have a little extra cash on hand. So, uh, we're going to do that tomorrow. So, I may work on it a little bit today, but pretty much what today is done. Uh, then, that's, so that's Friday. We're going to go put, uh, to the Pontiac show, and I'm going to make a video out of all that. Hopefully, we'll have a good time, see some awesome cars. The next day is, uh, being Saturday, Josh from Sleeper Dude, his church is having a annual car show. I don't know. I think they do this every year. Um, it's in Athens, Tennessee. I'm in Maryville, Tennessee. It's about an hour and 20 minutes from my house. So we're going to try to test this car out, right? That's a great way to test it. So we'll go down there, meet some people, you know, hand out some stickers, have a good time. So that's the plan. I figure it's an hour and a half, hour, almost three hours worth of driving round trip. And then that gives us seven days after his show to to actually get in and fix anything that needs to be fixed. I did make a list on my phone for things that uh, we have to fix and things we want to fix. Uh, I didn't prioritize that at all, but we'll go through that. So we got seven days to finish that list. It's not terrible, uh, but I'll give you a, a sneak peek. We need to center the rear end up in the car. I'm actually do that today. It's, it's off centered just a little bit, but we can I have that adjustable pan hard bar, so that's no big deal. We'll straighten it out. Uh, we need to, I rolled the fender lips in the rear on this car, but they still rub a little bit. Straightening it up will help, but I'm actually have to go in and cut that lip and bend it further up. You just can't do that without, you know, slicing it so it'll, it'll go up. So we're going to create some more room there so that doesn't rub. I'd like to not have to worry about any rubbing whatsoever on this trip in the back. Uh, we also rub in the front a little bit, so we have to do a little clearance up there. It's not bad, but still got to do it. Um, I'd like to get the AC hooked up. That'd be a major bonus. If we don't get it, we don't get it. But, you know, if it's 95 degrees and you're in the sun, you might want, might possibly want the AC. So, anyways, and then there's some other things like make sure a cigarette lighter works so we can charge our phones and our all our equipment and uh, just some things like that. Nothing major. Uh, Got to make a plate to go over that uh, place in the floor where the shifter comes through so we can get the console and stuff back in it, get the radio working. It's worked before, but we still got to get it done. So nonetheless, there's more stuff to do. We'll have seven days to do it. So uh, hopefully in the next week, y'all are going to get like three or four videos from me. Boom, 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 just because I got a lot going on. So anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate it so much. Uh, if you've made it this far, please hit the like button. If you've not subscribed, now's a great time. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. Just hit the subscribe button. Uh, worst case scenario is occasionally it suggests you watch my videos. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate, appreciate you all watching, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks.